It is another edition of the Bobcat Club podcast. I'm your host, Carl Schoening. Today, we are joined via Zoom from Bobcat senior pitcher Garrett Herman. Garrett, thanks for joining us today. Hey, good afternoon, Carl. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. You know, um, all things considered, and, you know, we sit in this crazy situation where, you know, usually when we do these interviews, we're in the same room, and I have to learn how to do Zoom recordings now. So that's where we're at. But, you know, uh, we appreciate you taking the time and, uh, you know, talk about time. How are things going? I understand classes have started back up for Bobcat students now that that extra week of spring break is done. So without baseball and just with, you know, classes, how are things going on your typical day? You know, I just try and uh, stay busy every, every single day, and it, it's tough at times. You know, being back, I've moved most of my stuff home uh, back to Houston, and so it is uh, just kind of a challenge every day to stay busy. But like you hit on, you know, class has started today, and um, so that'll kind of give me something to do in the next couple of days. But um, I've been, you know, just trying to stay working out. I have like a little bit of a home gym and uh, things like that. So I guess just staying busy with my brother. I'm, he's, he also plays uh, high school baseball. So just getting him out, you know, in the street, trying to stay, you know, quarantined from everyone else, but just staying busy and, and trying to keep my mind, you know, off, uh, off, you know, the unknown. So. Yeah, we are kind of entering that unknown, but it sounds like you're doing pretty good. And, you know, I was having this conversation with someone, it, when sports do eventually pick up, because we know that they will eventually, you know, start again, uh, what are the kind of things you're doing to stay in that timing? So, you know, what seems like for you guys, unfortunately, is a year off, uh, you're able to jump right back into it whenever you need to. Right. Yeah, it is. Uh, I definitely will. It's it's a long time, you know, to look at it um, in the long term as, as a whole year off. But um, I still have a throwing program that the coaches have been working with me and uh, our, our strength and conditioning coach and our athletic trainers have been working with us. And uh, so I've been, I've been trying to get that, trying to get my arm uh, as healthy as it can be for the next upcoming season. And then just hopefully be able to roll from there and just use this time to only, you know, get better for the uh, season coming up. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, that's all we can really do is just keep trying to be better and, you know, learn new things and, Uh, do what we need to when all the situation just kind of throws at us is maybe opportunity to be complacent and also opportunity to develop in different ways. Uh, Kind of shifting gears back, obviously this is a situation for you where you were in your senior year and you and Coach Trout were off to a great start and you also played for Coach Harrington. Could you maybe touch on a little bit of what it was like playing for both coaches, even though you haven't had a full season with Trout? You guys were off to a pretty good start there. Definitely. Um, You know, coming in as a transfer last year was my first year at Texas State. So, um, you know, the the atmosphere under under Coach Harrington, you know, it's it's not a whole lot different with with Coach Trout because um, Coach Trout was obviously still here last year and, Coach Trout was actually uh, the recruiting coordinator that got me into Texas State and everything like that. So, you know, I was I was pumped to to see, you know, whenever it was Coach Harrington's time to to step down and do other things. I was I was super pumped to see that Coach Trout was going to get the job. But I know that it was just, you know, there's a lot of similarities and both of the guys, you know, just demand like a high, high, um, you know, work ethic. And just like that, they just both want to set the standard very high and just everything that they've um, passed on to us is just not only excellence on the field it's excellence in the classroom and we've talked about like the Omaha um, standards in the classroom and stuff like that with coach Trout and um, you know it's a lot of the same and it's just it's all good I have have, uh, no complaints on my end awesome yeah well you know they're both great guys and we're lucky that coach Harrington was such a great coach for Texas State and can't wait to see uh uh, what Coach Trout's future will be when he gets a full chance. I see you have a cat back there. <laughs> uh, spending a little more time with your animals. Has this been a fun time for them? They don't know what's going on. So you get to yeah, kind of hold them up while you're doing some Zoom classes. Exactly. Exactly. That's right. That's right. Yeah, it's uh, it's actually my girlfriend's cat. So I'm, I'm sure I'll catch a little bit of grief from that from the guys because that's been a running joke around the team. But, yes, he's uh, he's trying to get his appearance and his, his FaceTime in as well, I guess. So. Yeah, the animals, they're they are jealous of all the digital uh, stuff we're still doing, even though we're in quarantine. Well, thank you so much for your time today, Garrett. And uh, yeah, good luck in your future. And we'll be keeping an eye out for sure. Awesome. Thanks, Carl. Thanks for talking to me.